Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to review the brand new CZJW JW3 smartwatch. We will be seeing what we have in the box, design, what materials it is made of, what options we have in the software, we will run some tests and see if this watch is worth buying. In the next video we'll see how to connect with Android and iOS, which app does it uses, and what option do we have in these apps. Before we start don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately the new JW3. But first we thank the sponsor for this watch and making this video possible, the information about how and where to buy this watch is down on the description. As you can see in the box we have the straps, charging cable, and user manual, and some code cards as well as the manual on how to use it. It comes with black leather strap but, you can choose the metal or silicone strap. For myself I prefer the leather one because it is durable and comfortable. It has a 46mm diameter, 12.8mm thickness with a very durable glass, and the strap is 22mm. Watch body is made by zinc alloy, it has 1.35 inch HD large screen 326 ppi and 32 bit color. It has a retina large screen covered by 3D glass and rotating button to switch page directly or scroll up, down, left or right. As for battery life, it can last from 15 to 20 days on standby, or 3 to 5 days with normal or sport scenarios use, with 280 mAh power battery which recharges in about 3 hours. Also, this watch is IP67 waterproof, so it will resist water while you wash your hands, but don't go shower with it just yet. It has more than 100 dynamic watch faces which you can choose from. If you sweep down you have the date, battery percentage, info, settings. You also have plenty of apps like Bluetooth, app notifications, health monitoring options like steps, sleep monitoring, heart rate, Alipay, as well as exercise mode. Next, we have the phone app where you can call someone directly by number or by contact list which you can add from applications or form call records when your watch is connected with your phone via Bluetooth. Going down we have the blood pressure, SpO2, weather, shutter remote camera, music control, breathe, which are really helpful for checking every now and then. Here we have some games like Young Birds and 2048 which are always fun if you're bored and have nothing else to do. In the end we have the setting menu, where you can change your language, dials watch, change watch face and other things, here we have the QR code for this watch. If you sweep up you can see your notifications, but we don't have any now. On this fountain we can run sport mode here we have running, walking, cycling, climbing, badminton, basketball, football these are some of the sports that this watch supporters, you can track your progress and set goals specific to you. When we sweep down, we have here some information like data, battery percentage, theater mode, flashlight vibrate brightness and settings where we can go directly into phone, call reset stopwatch, alarm timer, and change the view, if you want it's a really easy to use and overall, a great watch. I really enjoyed reviewing this watch and in general this is a great watch to bear, and I recommend you go for it, it's really durable pretty fast, and has everything you would want in a watch. In the next video we will see how to connect with Android and iOS, which apps does it uses, and what options do we have in these apps, so stay tuned for that. So, guys this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video with another smart device.